Oscar De La Hoya says that he would like to set up a fight between Danny Garcia and Lamont Peterson, who are both belt holders at 140 pounds. He says that the two camps are currently talking at the moment. They're not in intense negotiations, but they're currently talking. And obviously De La Hoya would like to fight because, according to him, the fans have been asking for it. And I think it's an interesting fight, personally. I know a lot of people have still got the Lucas Matisse destruction of Lamont Peterson stuck in their memories because it was such a devastating defeat that Peterson suffered. But aside from that fight, if you look at Peterson's career, if you look at the fights he's had, he's always been a good all-round fighter. He can fight on the inside, he can fight on the outside, he can do a few different things. He's got good, solid skills. Nothing spectacular, but good, solid skills. Good all-round fighter. And Danny Garcia is a guy who is powerful, he's strong, he showed versatility in the Matisse fight. Versatility which I didn't realise he had. He was boxing on the back foot and moving around and I've never seen Danny Garcia be able to move like that before. But then he had his fight with, um, God, what's the guy's name? <laughs> you know, I'm terrible with names these days, people. The guy who beat Provodnikov and then gave Danny Garcia hell. Oh my God, what's his name? Can't think of the name. <laughs> his name begins with an M. Either his surname or his first name begins with an M. It's just totally out of my head at the moment. My apologies. You know, you know, Mauricio Herrera. That's his name, Mauricio Herrera. Flipping hell, my memory these days is terrible. Yeah, he had a bad performance against Mauricio Herrera. And now everyone hates Danny Garcia, especially after his knockout win over Rod Salka in a non-title fight, which a lot of people saw as just a horrible circus show and a shameless bit of cherry picking by Danny Garcia and Team Garcia in general. Because people don't normally talk about Danny Garcia without talking about his dad. <laughs> his dad is his trainer, but if you listen to his dad, you would think that, I'm not sure actually how much control his dad has over his career, because I know that Danny Garcia is an Al Heyman fighter. But certainly listening to his dad, his dad makes out as though he has control over Danny Garcia's career. So a lot, a lot of people were blaming him for the Rod Salka fight as well. But nonetheless, would you like to see Danny Garcia against Peterson? And who do you think would win? Do you think the fight's going to go ahead? Or do you think Danny Garcia is going to try and move up to 147 before the fight can be made? Drop your comments below. Let me know how you feel. This is Hatman. I'm out.